All right, so today we're going to be talking over some more keywords, and today we'll be going over call accuracy. So just one note before we start, all these things are completely situational, and it is up to you as a player, or if you're in a team, then as a team to decide if you want to be saying these things all the time, uh, especially when the opportunity comes up, or whether you say them more, as I said, situational. Um, obviously, that's, as I said, for you guys to decide. So the first point of call, Again, call accuracy. So it's really important to establish really accurate calls, especially when you're playing at high levels, because if you mess up calls, this can be a big problem. So we're going to go over three keywords. One note here. It's important that with calls comes accuracy. And with these keywords or terms, we can hopefully increase accuracy without overcalling. So the goal of these three key, uh, keywords is basically, or, or terms, I should say, is basically to establish that extra accuracy level that we might be missing. So, as I said, all fairly self-explanatory. We don't need to go into CSGO or anything in order to talk about these, but basically safe call. So this is used to give confidence to a call that is 100% the truth. So for example, let's say I'm playing Inferno on Banana, and as I push into top Banana, I see two players, and I also saw support utility coming over the top, so flashbangs, smokes, etc., etc. That would that would tell me that there's definitely three towards B, you know, two top banana, one on site giving support utility, which would mean that I could relate to my team. There's three banana. And then on top of that, I could then add safe call. And what that basically tells my team is that's hundred percent the truth. They don't have to worry about the call being wrong. I'm completely sure that there's three on B and Maybe I can add some extra calls on top of that. Maybe tell them to go A or React A, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what safe call is. Fairly self-explanatory. It's just an added keyword on top of your existing call to basically tell your teammates that they can have full trust that this call is the truth. Um, particularly good, uh, as I said, when you want your teammates to fast react somewhere because you've seen multiple opponents, et cetera, or if the opponents have used all of their smokes, et cetera, then again, you might just call, you know, they have no smokes left, that's the safe call, if, if you know that that's the truth. So the next one will be safe. So this is the complete opposite effect of that. So for example, if you hear your teammate call something, and maybe you have extra info which would maybe dictate that their call isn't necessarily 100% the truth, um, then you could ask safe, or maybe is that safe? And that could basically tell your teammate, have a think about what you've just called, can you give me the 100% guarantee that this is a safe call? This is this is the absolute truth. And then if they can't tell you, okay, that's safe, then you've established that maybe the call isn't 100% to be taken at uh, face value. So again, as I said, safe or is it safe? Uh, this is the complete opposite effect of safe call. And finally, we have clear comms. So there are going to come times where in CS, your teammates are overcalling or, you know, there's lots of things happening. There's... You're in, in and amongst utility being used. The opponents are in front of you. Your teammates are right behind you. You've got people spraying all around you, and you've got people calling over the top of that. So the comms is just absolutely pounding on the fact that you're trying to listen to all of these different things. So in such a scenario, or potentially maybe even when you're in the back lines, you might call clear comms. So basically, in the moments you need to have noise over comms, uh, usually used when you're behind enemy lines. So as I said, when comms are overwhelming your ability to hear a certain scenario, then you might just want to call clear comms, and that tells your teammates, stop talking. You know, there's some calls which just aren't necessary, and you do get into a habit as a player to just overcall certain things. So in such scenarios, then as a player, you are going to want to clear, clear the comms so that you can hear uh, such details. And that's basically what clear comms is. It's, it's again, fairly self-explanatory, nothing here which is overcomplicated, but hopefully... This gives an insight as to how can we improve our accuracy with our calls. You know, you have your safe, is it safe, and you have your clear comms. That's hopefully going to clean up the calling system a little bit within the team so that you know what's accurate, you know what's not accurate. And that'll be it for today. So thanks for watching.